All right, yo, what's good, Jits? Um, this is going to be our little our trade recap for today. So, to start off, we had news today. Um, we had ISM Services PMI it gave us bullish news, um, bullish news bias. Um, I waited to take the trade um, until after news came out. We took our trade around like 30 minutes after news came out, around um, an hour into market open, and this was the trade that we took. It ended up being a loss, um, but this is what we took. So essentially, on the daily, we were bullish, okay? However, on the four hour, and the hourly, we were we were bearish, okay. Um, so I was going, I was pretty much banking off the fact that we were going to get like another pullback within here because that's following the current trend, right? And usually, when we do get stopped out on things like this, it means it's switching. It means it's going to switch direction. So it's 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 honestly good for us to get stopped out because now it's like okay, cool. Now we have the daily aligned and the four hour aligned and the one hour aligned. You know, that's when it can get tricky. And that's probably usually when you lose trades is when all your biases aren't necessarily aligned, right? On the daily, we had bullish bias because it, we just broke daily structure. On the weekly, we're bullish bias because we haven't broke structure to the downside over here yet on GU. But on the four hour, we have to stick to this, right? Because, right, price is falling and falling and we can't just say, oh yeah, it's just going to go lower, right? So we're not going to set up a bullish a bullish trade especially if the the lower the lower like more prominent time frames that we are actually like looking to make those moves on so like four hour time frame right we're usually catching moves on four hour candles not on daily candles not on weekly candles these are just extra confluences for us so and then and then when price does want to go back in the right dire in the direction with the daily and the weekly that's when we get stopped out and that's when we get stuff like this happening so that was that was my um bias for today it was bearish due to the four hour and the hourly okay i was looking for this to get sweeped and this imbalance to get filled which happened okay we pushed right up into that this was the news candle you can see um rallied all the way up here filled this imbalance and then We entered after, right? We came down, we made a low, whatever, it kept going, and then we came up, okay? We entered on the break of structure of this candle right here. So this candle closed, we actually got filled a little bit lower too. This candle closed right here, or sorry, this break of structure right here, we get closed below, I entered off of that. Why? Because we got that imbalance getting filled Okay, we came up, filled another imbalance within here with this, and then we get a reaction, okay? And then from there, I also had this area marked out. This was like a, a fair value gap, and we did see a little reaction off of that, putting us in profit for a little bit, but ended up moving back up after. Okay, so my whole thought process was boom, filled an imbalance. It's in line with our bias on the hour and the four hour. Looks great. First take profit was going to be boom right here the boom move down prior to the capitulation up that's always a great spot to target um and then obviously all, all the other take profits were uh here this low and then this was further liquidity over there um but yeah we got stopped out let me uh show the p l for the meat munchers for the people who think this shit's fake for the people who want to add it up and figure out how much fucking money i'm making we lost, um, or I lost $1,674.11 today. Um, so pretty much like 10,000 bucks around there, um, like $400 less. But yeah, that's a little recap of why we took that trade. Um, I was also looking at potential shorts on gold um, for the same reason, but the reason why I didn't take this trade is because we had already broke structure on the one hour. So that's why I was like, okay, I'm not going to take this because, right, the recent bias is bullish, so we're not going to do that, right? That's why I stuck to GJ because we hadn't broke structure yet, um, and it looked really great while we were in it up until the end when, when we got stopped out uh, because price action, it looked like this was going to give us a reaction, especially on this move down, but got stopped out. Um, intraday bias has now flipped, so, whoa. 
I almost threw up. <laughs> um, anyways, so boom, trade recap. Took an L today. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another trade recap. Watch the boot camp video that drops today as well. Um, we got a bunch of stuff going on. All right.